Hello everyone, this is Gary Gravidor and welcome to my channel, The American from Davao. Please stick around for another wonderful, exciting, and awesome episode made just for you. Hello again, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in. And if you're new to this channel, then please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons below, as well as the notification bell so you don't miss any of the future episodes and activities here. Also, please don't forget to comment and share when you're done viewing this episode. Well, guess what, friends? We are right here in Manhattan, and I'm going to tell you about one of my city's big kept secrets. This is New York City's Roosevelt Island. Welcome to the stunning and spectacular Roosevelt Island, New York City's best kept secret. It is a narrow island located here in New York City's East River that lies between Manhattan Island to the west and the Borough of Queens to the east. Roosevelt Island is about the same length as that of Midtown Manhattan's East 46th Street up to the Upper East Side section on 85th Street. Roosevelt Island is only about 2 miles long with a maximum width of 800 feet and a total land area of 147 acres. The island was called Minnehanok by the Leni Lenape and Delaware people who were indigenous people of the northeastern woodlands who lived in the United States and Canada in the 18th century. Then it was called Varkens Eilong or Hog Island by the New Netherlanders during the colonial era and later as Blackwell's Island. It was also known as Welfare Island when it was used mainly for hospitals from 1921 to 1973 before it was finally changed to Roosevelt Island in honor of the late President Franklin Delano Roosevelt in 1973. This is the Roosevelt Island Tramway. The tram provides the most modern aerial tramway in the world. With the amazing scenic views of Manhattan and Queensboro Bridge. The tram runs every 7 to 15 minutes from 59th Street and 2nd Avenue in Manhattan to Tramway Plaza on Roosevelt Island. The tramway opened in 1976 and since then over 26 million passengers have ridden the tram. The tram is operated by LPOA or the Leitner Poem of America on behalf of the Roosevelt Island Operating Corporation of the State of New York, a state public benefit corporation created in 1984 to run services on the island. This is Cornell Tech. This 12-acre urban campus is one of the most environmentally friendly and energy efficient campuses in the world. It is owned by Cornell University, one of the best Ivy League universities here in America. The Tata Innovation Center at Cornell Tech Campus was designed by Weissman Freddy Architecture. It is built to LEED Silver Sustainability Standards. The silhouette of the rooftop photovoltaic canopy unifies the campus's architectural expression and serves as an iconic symbol of Cornell's commitment to conserving natural resources. The Bloomberg Center is Cornell Tech's intellectual nerve center of the campus, not only bringing together students and faculty to collaborate across disciplines, but also serving as a venue for chance collisions between academia and the world at large. The building was named in honor of Emma and Georgina Bloomberg. Towards the end of the 1800s, cities began making an effort to keep smallpox patients and infected immigrants separate from the rest of the population. Luckily for New Yorkers, there was Roosevelt Island. So in 1856, 
the city opened up the Renwick Smallpox Hospital, completely isolated from the rest of the area by waterways. During the hospital's 19-year run, it treated about 7,000 patients a year, with about 450 patients dying there each year. Today, the hospital has the distinct honor of being one of the most haunted places in all of America. In 1972, the hospital was added to the National Register of Historic Places, making it New York City's only landmarked ruin. Although the smallpox hospital had been registered in 1972 as a historic landmark, I still wouldn't feel comfortable coming over here in the middle of the night to visit the place. To me, it still feels creepy. Now back to regular programming. This is the South Point Park that houses the Strecker Lab and Smallpox Hospital landmarks. It is approximately seven acres in size. This is the Franklin D. Roosevelt Four Freedoms Park, a four-acre memorial dedicated to the late American President Franklin Delano Roosevelt that celebrates the four freedoms he articulated in his speech to the United States Congress in 1941. It was Louis Kahn who designed the monument in 1972. It was considered to be one of his last works before he died in 1974 at New York City's Penn Station. Meanwhile, the courtyard contains a bust of Roosevelt, sculpted in 1933 by Joe Davidson, who served as chairman of the Independent Citizens Committee of the Arts, Sciences and Professions, which is a leftist liberal group that supported the policies of the then President Franklin Delano Roosevelt and his re-election. This is the Strecker Memorial Laboratory, the first laboratory in the United States for pathological and bacteriological research that was built in 1892 and funded by the Strecker family. The building was designed by architects Frederick Clark Withers and Walter Dixon in the Romanesque revival style with large arched windows to provide plenty of natural lighting and ventilation. It had an autopsy room and an office, while the cellar was used as a mortuary and for storage. On the next episode, we will explore the northern side and main street of Roosevelt Island.